Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about clinical significance of enzymes. So in our previous videos, we discussed about isoenzymes and the clinical uses. Okay. So along with the isoenzymes, there are enzymes which are also useful in clinical purpose. Right. So certain enzymes will be used like so say the enzymes that are found in plasma can be categorized into two groups okay one is plasma specific okay other one is plasma non-specific so what is the main difference plasma specific enzymes and plasma non-specific enzymes so plasma specific enzymes means these are the enzymes which always be present in the plasma so their higher concentrations are mandatory to maintain the normal functioning okay so like uh, you can say anticoagulants okay so which uh, supposed to be present in the circulation to prevent the clottings in the free circulation okay if their concentration is decreasing that means there are chances of clottings and it obstructs the normal flow of the circulation and causes lot of disturbances and disorders okay to the health of human being and coming to the other plasma non-specific enzymes these are the enzymes which are not found regularly in uh, plasma but normal because of there is a, like every day there are thousands of cells will be dying and all the content of those cells will be coming out and entering into the uh, circulation so there are some normal amounts of these uh, enzymes in the plasma but not high so it is quite opposite plasma specific enzymes levels are higher and if this concentration decrease it indicates some disorder but plasma non-specific enzymes their concentration is less okay that means normal levels because of the regular normal uh, cell tear and wear processes so if these concentration plasma non-specific enzyme concentrations higher in uh, plasma it indicates some disorder so both the enzymes like plasma specific and plasma non-specific enzymes like uh, op opposite direction so first coming to plasma specific non-enzymes okay so these are the enzymes involved in blood coagulation like also like peroxidase pseudocholinesterase lipoprotein lipase okay for digestion of lipids okay especially triacylglycerols so the enzymes are clinically of interest when their concentration decreases in plasma that means there should be higher levels they are supposed to be maintained in higher levels higher concentration in circulation or in plasma so the plasma non-specific enzymes as we discussed they are present in very high concentrations uh, in tissues estimation of plasma non-specific enzymes are very important for diagnosis of several diseases okay and uh, like what to say this plasma non-specific there you never get regularly these enzymes in uh, plasma or in circulation so if some there is damage to the tissue or the cell then only their contents are out of the cell and enter into the circulation high levels will be noted so this indicates some disorder or uh, some disease and that's why these plasma non-specific enzymes are interest of diagnosis of several diseases so such enzymes we'll see now like uh, what are the enzymes like diagnosis of disease like alanine transaminase alanine transaminase was known formally as glutamate pyruvate transaminase gpt gpt okay the alt five nowadays is like alt so for routine liver checkup so nowadays you say lft liver profile okay liver function test so this is one of the enzyme to mainly be assessed for healthiness of the liver okay the plasma alt uh, of normal um, value for adult is 10 to 40 uh, units per liter okay uh, alt level is elevated in liver diseases such as like jaundice and cirrhosis of liver so that means this enzyme is present mainly in liver cells inside not in plasma so if there is damage to the liver cells the liver cells are undergoing lysis and the content of like alt present inside the liver cell will come out and appear in the circulation so with the higher levels of c above like 50 units per liter it indicates some damage to the liver so in like if in case of liver diseases jaundice the levels may be more than 100 units per liter okay with this we can make out liver is not functioning or liver is not well so coming to the next enzyme okay that is aspartate transaminase it is formerly known as uh, uh, got i mean oxaloacetate glutamate oxaloacetate transaminase the normal level of this uh, aspartate transaminase is 10 to 30 units per liter so 10 to 40 for alt and 10 to 30 for ul so increased AST levels occur in myocardial infarction. So initially for myocardial infarction, so AST is present in heart as well as in liver. Okay, but mainly it is uh, higher concentrations in heart. So in myocardial infarction, if there is any damage to the cardiac cells, so along with the LDH1 and uh, CK2, creatine kinase 2, 
this uh, AST levels also will be released into the plasma, higher concentration will be noted. That means more than 50 units per liter indicate some problem with the heart cells. So the plasma, uh, it is moderately, as I said, it is also present in the liver. In liver diseases, its concentration will be elevated for to some extent. And in plasma AST levels increases after 6 to 8 hours after onset of chest pain with the peak value of 18 to 24 hours and the value fall to normal level by 4th to 5th day. So creatine kinase 2 in within 4 hours and that in case of LDH1 24 to 48 hours but here AST first it will be like uh, levels will be increasing 6 to 8 hours okay after the onset of chest pain with the peak value of, of like 18 to 24 hours the peak value will be uh, like higher concentrations will be noted after like with the time in 4 or 3 days the level will again come down and another enzyme of interest of uh, diagnosis of disease that is alkaline phosphatase okay and ALP what is do like uh, hydrolysis organic phosphate at alkaline pH this normal serum level in adult is 3 to 13 uh, Ka units per dl okay and it is elevated in certain bone and liver disease especially post hepatic or like uh, obstructive jaundice conditions okay there are types of jaundices like uh, prehepatic hepatic post hepatic okay hemolytic hepatic and uh, obstructive so in obstructive or post hepatic jaundice this alp level will be increased okay and bone disorders also this condition uh, these levels will be increased obstructive jaundice as i mentioned and this such as bone diseases such as pages disease rickets astromalacia carcinoma of bone and hyperparathyroidism these alkaline phosphatase levels will be increased so another for another enzyme of similar of interest Acid phosphatase, it, it is also hydrolysis phosphoric acid at uh, acidic level. Okay, acid phosphatase hydrolysis phosphoric acid at acidic level and alkaline phosphate hydrolysis phosphoric acid at alkaline level. That is the difference. Normal serum value is 0.52 catal units. K is nothing but catal. Okay, catal units per deciliter. Acid phosphatase is useful for diagnosis of prostate cancer. Okay, in males especially. Acid phosphatase is therefore an important tumor marker. Okay, tumor marker. You can give example acid phosphatase and it is useful in diagnosis and prognosis of prostate cancer in males. So amylase this is a digestive enzyme amylase actually to say. So hydrolysis of starch and glycogen normal serum value is 50 to 120 units per liter. The activity of serum amylase increased in acute pancreatitis that means this amylase pancreatic amylase is releasing from secreting from uh, pancreas. So you can check out with the levels of amylase, you can check out the healthiness of the pancreas. So you might have been knowing the person who has died with the uh, acute pancreatitis, the person Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, Apple CEO, former Apple CEO, CEO okay, which is having like acute pancreatitis, he has been died with the disease. Okay, so you want to check whether you have pancreatitis or not so amylase enzyme which is secreting from that so normally there is a only 50 to 120 units per liter in the circulation in the plasma so if there is a pancreas disorder or some cancerous condition acute pancreatitis to pancreas these levels will be more like almost 200 300 units per liter will be there in the plasma so pancreatitis chronic pancreatitis mumps obstruction and pancreatic duct in these conditions amylase levels will be elevated so enzymes like other like other uses this uh, creatine kinase and lactate dehydrogenase so we have already discussed in the chapter isoenzymes so you can follow our previous video for these two enzymes for diagnosis of diseases creatine kinase and lactate dehydrogenase their types are there the mainly useful for diagnosis of myocardial infarction at the same time muscular disorders like uh, myasthenia gravis or muscular dystrophies so the overall picture of the enzyme so far we have discussed in the table you can make out here enzymes locations where they present and clinical applications you can see acid phosphatase we have already said which is location is prostate and erythrocyte and mainly for diagnosis of disease prostate cancer and alanine aminotransferase is present in liver skeletal muscles mainly in hepatic diseases and aldolase is present in skeletal muscle is of muscle disease alkaline phosphatase liver bone kidney and bone diseases and hepatobiliary diseases alkaline phosphatase amylase mainly for pancreatic disorders Aspartate transaminase mainly for myocardial infarction, you can say, and choline esterase is also present in liver. Okay, organophosphorus insecticide uh, poisoning. Okay, this choline esterase enzyme levels will be high in plasma in case of poisoning conditions, like with the organophosphorus, like pesticides. Okay, and hepatic uh, parachymal diseases. Creatine kinase, we are already aware, myocardial infractions and muscle disease. So, like this. Other enzymes like gamma glutamyl transferase, like liver, kidney, hepatobiliary diseases, alcoholism. In alcoholism, this gamma glutamyl transferase will be higher in circulation of plasma. 
okay lactic dehydrogenase this is also myocardial infarction five nucleotides is hepatobiliary disease okay and prostate specific antigen is in prostate cancer trypsin is also from pancreas so pancreatic diseases and cystic fibrosis all these disease conditions all these are the enzyme set of enzymes okay they are all plasma non specific enzymes these are not present regularly in plasma but though present means in normal levels they are present so that is it is very mandatory for uh, diagnosis a disease okay so there are normal levels because of a regular uh, wear and tear of the cell okay in some disease conditions these levels will be higher so with this you can make out with the presence of these enzymes in higher concentration in plasma the person is having like some disease disorder or not so there are some enzymes like uh, maybe signal in the presence of malignancy so that's all about the enzymes which you can make out their uses in disease and prognosis of some disorders thanks for listening thank you